Hey Clint, what's going on, man? It's uh, six oh five on Sunday. Just finished up day three. Uh, gonna go over this real fast here. Uh, day one. Now keep in mind, this was before I saw your review, like uh, day one and two. So probably some of the same mistakes were made. Uh, <clears throat> speed deads. It was heavy. It was like two fifty plus the light band. Those are the heaviest we've ever done. Um, they moved pretty good. I felt I felt good. Uh, box squats went well. Six by two. Uh, those went well. Uh, board press day was real good. Um, the 10 by 3 uh, went real well. I had good pauses, good racks, felt strong. Uh, then I hit 195 off of one board. So back to the bench when you asked, what do we think is working? So obviously, like I think a lot of repetitions is definitely helping me in technique. My thoughts are that uh, I have no confidence at the bottom of the press. So I hit that 205 by 1 last week off my chest. And with a handoff, I probably would have been good for more, I would say. So the 195 to a one board this week, like I had a press and a rack command, like somebody giving it to me, and I pressed still before the press command, and it still went up good. Like it's got good speed. I just mentally I'm like, oh, fuck, you know, bottom of the press. like uh. So maybe I need some more work down low. But it's hard for me to say that, dude, because everything you've had me doing has obviously got my bench skyrocketing. So, that's just one thing I definitely notice is I have no confidence at the bottom. Alright, today, the meat day. Uh, I hit 345 to a single on squats. That's 10 pounds over my last PR. Uh, it was definitely not a one rep max. I definitely have much more in me. Um, I don't want to put a number on I don't know, but it moves quick. Um, it's really sloppy, like I'm having some issues unracking the bar. I, I'm like doing a good morning instead of arching in. I don't know if it's because... Okay, so the bar is about right at my nipples when I go to unrack. And that lets me get into a low bar squat. But I don't know if I'm just not getting underneath the bar properly. Because it's kind of sloppy, dude. Like even on the box squats, it's kind of sloppy. So like I'm unracking and then like right in this one today, you'll see it. Like I unrack, I like smoke the rack and shit. But like instead of putting it down, I was, I was committed. I was like, we're just hitting this real quick. So I squat. And it shoots up pretty fast. Now, the depth is definitely borderline. Okay, I'm not going to say the depth is like, you know, right there. This is iffy. I would say, I think it was good. I think it would pass. I think it was white lights. Um, I suppose it would really depend on the Federation, though. So you'll kind of see that there. Um, and then the 315 uh, deadlift plus the chains was good. Uh, I felt they were much better than last week. Okay, the big issue is the catapult. I am not physically strong enough to pull it apart or I'm not wearing it right. But I'm pretty sure that I'm wearing it correctly because I watched your video on how to wear the catapult. Um, dude, I cannot reach the rings. My right hand will get close. My left hand will get n won't even really get to the knurling. Like, it's bad. Like, the thing is just seriously that strong. I don't know if you've probably never worn a slingshot um, because, you know, uh, metal. But uh, if you ever have worn a slingshot, you will know that the catapult is so much stronger dude like I'd put it at like three to four times stronger so I'm just physically cannot pull it apart we messed around with it for like 10-15 minutes no luck at all so I don't know I don't know if there's a plan B or if there's a way I can break it in I mean maybe just keep trying to pull it apart maybe put some basketballs in it like a bench shirt I don't know um now this week I have some elbow pain I have maybe some tendonitis in my left elbow I'm not too sure um, so it's, I don't know if it's really affecting my strength, but it hurts. So I've been taking anti-inflammatories. I've been taking warm baths. I've been icing it. I've been sleeping well. I really don't have any, any outside stress other than the f physical stress of lifting. Like I'm not really stressed out right now or anything like that. So my CNS, CNS should be okay. I don't know. Um, yeah, dude, other than that. So other than the catapult not working and the elbow pain, I'm good. The elbow pain, I'm just going to keep working on it. Like, I actually just joined this massage club by my house. Kind of weird. It's like real weird in there. But uh, 39 bucks, you get, 39 bucks a month, you get a massage, right? Like a Swedish massage for an hour. Then you can pay 39 more dollars and get unlimited massage for 39 a piece. So kind of a good deal. We'll have to see how it goes, though. It's like real weird people in there, but we'll give it a shot. Um, so other than that, dude, yeah, the catapult's kind of the big, the big issue. All right, man, I'm going to send this off, uh, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.